In the past century, we've made massive leaps in human performance. For instance, in swimming, the men's 100 meter freestyle record has improved 29% since 1905. The men's shot put world record is 49% farther now than in 1909. For women, the gains are even greater. Some women's field event records have improved by more than 100%. But the pace of improvement has slowed dramatically in the past 20 years. We're not getting slower, but we're not getting faster as fast. Which raises the question, what are the actual limits of human performance? We were trying to figure out why records ought to always get better. You'd think humans are humans, why wouldn't they stay more or less the same? It expanded from humans to dogs and horses because there's lots of data. For instance, in horse racing, the times in the Kentucky Derbies haven't gotten any better since the late 1940s. People have tried to breed faster horses and said what they're doing is breeding more fragile horses. So it may well be that Secretariat was the fastest horse that ever is going to be, the fastest horse that can exist. Human beings are going to run into the same problem eventually that horses have now. The system as a whole uh, is, is bumping up against its limits. Figuring out what the limit was was an interesting application of statistics. Most of the records went back to like the 1920s. So you started in the 1920s and speeds were fairly low and they increased, 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 and then start to sort of level out at some point. So it suggests that, that there's some sort of plateau even though you might not have reached that. What I then did was, was take the, the statistics of extremes, which allows you to think about that variation around something. So what it allowed me to do was say, okay, the fastest time every year is the extreme for the human beings for that year running, say, the 400 meter race. And there's some variation from year to year. But you can apply the statistics of extremes to that variation and say, okay, the distribution looks like this and I, we can predict statistically that the biggest deviation from that trend you're ever going to get is such and so. That is the maximum around that unchanging trend. In Denny's analysis, Paula Radcliffe's marathon world record of 2.15.25 is the closest performance so far to our physical limits. Denny predicts that the absolute record will be 2.14.58. Say we're to try to selectively breed faster human beings, it just comes down to the muscle power. If you've got a certain amount of mass, you have to accelerate up to that speed. Having a lot of fast twitch muscle and the ability to exert it on a skeleton that's not going to break when you do it is what it's going to take to to set that fastest time. Of course, one spectacular performance could blow Denny's work out of the water, but if that happens, he claims that he won't mind.